So there was a lot to talk about after the special report live stream on TU15 New Gear Sets Countdown and everything that is coming. So I decided to make a recap video right here. The first thing we want to do though is let's take a look at the season nine trailer. This is Captain Lewis of the True Sons. My advanced team is already in DC. You still have no idea what you're up against. Full lockdown So the first thing I did want to address was the season roadmap that we saw for a quick second. It talks about the new target Lewis, the new mode countdown coming, the season nine pass, two apparel events, a new feature expertise, which we all know about, targets, leagues, global events, new gear, and more. And now this all goes live May 12th. But let's talk about the targets themselves. There are five new targets to take down, Major Castillo being the first one on May 12th, Sergeant Daniels on May 31st, Lieutenant Chang on June 21st, Major Xander on July 12th, and then the prime target himself, Captain Lewis. Now you need to complete all the lieutenants and then you will unlock the prime target. Now if you didn't notice, these are all True Sons bosses. So that is the prime target for season nine. We also know that there is a new feature coming, the expertise system, what we've talked about in the past. There are two new apparel events, which we'll get into a little bit more. And then obviously the season nine pass. But let's dive into the full season roadmap and see how everything plans out. So obviously we know Target Castillo's on the 12th of May, which we already showed you a picture of them. Then we have the Castillo League, which is the 17th of May. And then we have the Polarity Switch Global Event, the 24th of May, which a lot of you guys probably played in the past. Then on the 31st of May, we have Target Daniels. And then obviously we have Daniels League, 7th of June. We have another global event, Guardians, on the 14th of June. Another global event you might have played in the past. Then we have a brand new apparel event, Fairview Crew, on 24th of May. So that is one of the newer events we haven't had in the past. We continue on with Target Chain on 21st of June. Then Chain League will be on the 28th of June. Then we have Shade Exposed Global Event on the 5th of July. And then another brand new apparel event, Street Activation on 5th of July. After that, we have Target Xander on 12th of July, The League on the 19th of July, and then the Global Events, Hollywood, Golden Bullet, and Reanimated, the 26th of July, 9th of August, and the 23rd of August. So you might've noticed that all the Global Events are Global Events we played in the past, from Polarity all the way to Reanimated. Some of these being as fun as golden bullet and some of them just not being that fun but yes these are the six global events we will have in this season now we did get a closer look at the backpack trophies for each league so for the castillo league you get these little glow sticks which aren't too bad the daniels league i actually like the battle axe but the chain league actually has a really cool spartan helmet and i actually think i'm gonna really try for that one i like that one and then xander league actually has handcuffs so i'm really a big fan of chain league and daniels league i think those are cool now i do believe that the castillo league will look good at night but yes chain league is the number one i'm going for now we did get to see a few of the peril items dropping in the new apparel event so if you guys want to take a look at that we actually have two of the ones from the fairview crew that drops may 24th this one looks almost like a cleaner's outfit right you got the orange pants but then you have that looks like a trench mask from division one if you guys played division one you guys might notice that i've never been a fan of that mask but hey some of you guys might actually enjoy it with the vest on the front doesn't look too bad this might be something a lot of you guys are actually going to be grinding for for me Mm, this might be a pass, but I do like the other Fairview crew one, which we are going to take a look at right now. Now, this is one I could grind from this one. It actually looks pretty cool. Like it, it's a full contamination suit. You can see even the top is duct tape. He's got duct tape everywhere to make sure no kind of gas gets inside that suit. I actually like this one. This one is something that 
I could catch myself using. I definitely want to see a higher res version of it and maybe a diff couple different angles so that way we can see how this one actually looks. But out of the two, this is one I actually prefer. Now they did only show us one outfit from the Street Activation Crew July 5th. Now this is one that I really could see myself using. That mask is something unique. I haven't seen one like that with the full covering. I actually like this one. The, the, the chest piece looks cool. It's clean. You don't even see your vest. It's just a t-shirt with a jacket. I always like those that hide your armor because sometimes I just don't want to have my gear showing on top of my outfits. So then I can use something like this. I actually like this one. This is one I can definitely see myself using. And those are the three apparel items, full sets that they showed us. There's probably another one for the street activation. I'm not 100% sure. They did show two from the first one and then one from this one. But obviously, they will look a lot better once we get high res versions of those. We get to see the 360 view and just see how they look on our characters really make the difference, right? So, so far, a lot of really cool items for you guys to look forward to grinding. Also, remember, we have all the new weapons, the, the name weapons, the exotics coming, the new gear sets. All that will also be dropping in TU15. The new countdown game mode is dropping. The expertise system is dropping. So all that will be dropping on the seasonal track. So it looks like that is what you guys will be grinding for. And it looks like you will be able to get the blue screen LMG, exotic LMG at level 85 of the rewards track. They flashed this really quick, but I was able to grab a screenshot of it. So yeah, at 85, you will unlock the blue screen LMG on your season nine reward track. And then at level 90 of your season reward track, you'll get the new exotic mask. A lot of people are really gonna be looking for that. So it looks like the blue screen at 85, your exotic mask at level 90, and the only one I wasn't able to really track is the Dread, which I think most likely will be early on in the reward track, unless it's an item you get from the open world. Now, something that stood out to me is that a level 100, you actually get a vanity mask, a full, complete closed off mask that actually looks pretty cool. So I'm excited to see this one. It looks like a, a ski mask and hopefully, this actually looks good once you put it on. So yeah, that is your level 100 reward on the premium side. Obviously you get the patch on the free side. So that's pretty much it. That's a summary of everything we're getting in this update. Remember, it does go live on May 12th. They haven't gave us an official time. I think I'm gonna try to take off so that way I can stream live. You guys love the live stream on the main channel and thanks for all the support over there. We're gonna wrap it up here guys. Appreciate the support, appreciate the love. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, hey, nothing but skills out.